Well, you get the thing, can you? Yeah. You already started, sir? Okay, baby. So, good morning. Today is, what is today? December the... 15th. You sure? Yes. Why are you so, you're so sure it's the 15th? Because it's Thursday. It's just a regular day. It's not special about December the 15th. Yeah, but it's not. Because it's a Thursday. Thursday yeah. is the 15th. Yeah. Okay. It is a special day. It smells birthday. <gasps> it's, special it's your birthday. It's your birthday. But we, we are. We're going to promise you happy birthday multiple times today. All right. Multiple Wait. times. Okay. Uh, but let's let's dive into uh, this. You good? Let's dive into this uh, devotion and discipleship. Um, a song. Ten thousand reasons, sir. All right. our spiritual eyes that we may see the, um, the truth that that you have laid upon us, Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for everything that you've done for us. Lord, I pray that we have a great day today. Thank you for no seeing ten years and also help us to continue to get many things accomplished today and also to shine for your glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 
everyone, thank you for the stay. I hope that you have a good time. And yeah, the safe time is going to Hibachi. And that that can let me spin to win. Just stay in. Thank you for the stay. Thank you for everything that you've done for us. And I please hope that we'll be able to celebrate Noah's birthday and have a beautiful day today. And just not pray. Amen. Lord, thank you for this day that we have a blessed day. God, please hope that we have a good day and that we can celebrate those birthday and go to Habachi and eat good food to Habachi. In Jesus' name, amen. Lord, thank you for this day and I hope that we can learn about the word. Lord, that we can have safe travels to Habachi. Thank you, Jesus, going in. Jesus, and we thank you for your many blessings. We thank you for waking us up this morning. Thank you for allowing us to sit at this awesome table for devotion and discipleship. Uh, we thank you in advance for this awesome spiritual meal that we are about to receive. And uh, yes, we cannot wait to dive into your word, uh, to draw closer to you, dear Jesus, to learn more about you, dear Jesus. Yes, and, and just to, yes, to just to spend some some awesome, some quality time with, with you, dear Jesus. In your precious name, we pray. Amen. 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 Good job. Can I mm, good job. Good job. All right, oh. babies. Yes, yes, Isaiah. Who was it? Dad. Donald. Uh huh. Dad. Yeah. yeah, it was Trey. Judah. Then Judah. Who else? Daddy. Well, you and me. Dada. Olivia. Dada. Yes, it was. Good job. You get a fist bump. You get a fist bump. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Good job. And high five. Can you reach? Uh, good job, man. Good job. All right. Encouragement is very important, guys. Encouragement. All right. So, a little bit of a review. Everybody remember where we finished up yesterday? Yes, sir. Everybody remember where we finished up? What were we talking about? We're talking about... talking about yesterday was how um, uh, how Peter was talking about even if nobody if all else fall away then he won't and he will never deny Jesus and also be scattered and, and then the other disciples said the same right. never Lord all right <coughs> Like, Never. Guess what? Guess what? So, sometimes you all get excited in your boldness. All right. I'm uh, excited as today because it's Noah's birthday. Thank, thank you. Very Happy much. birthday, Noah. Yeah, we, we already said that, and and we wish him a happy birthday before you got down here. 
Okay. All right. Because you got the hair a little late. All right. <coughs> Thank you. All right. So, in verse 34 in chapter 26 of Matthew, I just want to go over this quickly for one more time. And each one of them accounted uh, uh, accounted this. All right. Uh, so Jesus, you know, first shared, all of you will be made to stumble because of me tonight. All right. For it is written, I will strike the shepherd. Who's the shepherd? Jesus. 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 All right. And the sheep of the flock will be scattered. But after I am raised up, I will go before you in Galilee. All right. But Peter stepped out there. All right. Who's going to be the first one to step out and be like, me? No. You can't. Who's going to be the, the, the one that is the boldest and the bravest and the most outspoken? Okay. Um, but Peter answered, even if all will be made to stumble because of you, I will never be made to stumble, Lord. All right. So that was Matthew's account, okay? So Mark said, uh, but Peter said to him, although all will be offended, yet I will not, all right? And, and so the way that uh, uh, the way that Luke uh, documented this encounter, uh, he said to him, Lord, I am ready to go with you both to prison and to death, Lord, all right. So he's like, dude, like, and, and so not a single one of them is saying it in exactly the same way, is it? Right, right. Like, that's the most unique part. Okay. But you know what? They, it's like in their minds, they knew that <laughs> outspoken Peter said something really bold and in, in, with enthusiasm. All right. Like, they, look, there's goes Peter again, like, you know, putting his foot in his mouth. All right. And Peter said to him, Lord, why can I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. All right. And so guess what? He might have said all of those things. But that is the little tidbit that they uh, that they wrote down. Okay. He might have said all, all of it in, yeah, like four sentences. But they only wrote down one sentence. I mean, because, yes, when they were documenting the whole gospel, um, could they have written down everything? Like, every conversation? All right? Shh. Hey, could they have written down every conversation that they had with everybody? Like, no, that, that's not realistic. All right? But they they tried to remember and recount and, and, and write down the most, what, what they thought was the most important aspects Okay, is that fair? Yes, sir. So then, so we got past that, all right. Uh, and, and then, of course, Jesus, you know, shared, look, it's, it's okay, all right, M most certainly, all right. The rooster is going to crow four times. Three right? times. What? Three. I thought it was four. Three. three. You sure? Yes. Three. There's three, three times? Three. Three. Okay. Three. Okay, Sorry. easy kid, easy. Sorry. All right, all right. Daddy's got it. the rooster's gonna crow three, three times. times. All right. Uh, then we moved on to the passage we read yesterday, um, where all right, you know, so Luke brought up this in, in, uh, account, and Luke was the only one that brought this up, where Jesus was asking about uh, a pistol. No, a sword. Right. A sword. A sword. Right. Did they have pistols back then? No. Did they have machine guns? No. <laughs> and bow and arrows, JW? No. Yes. They might have. But they, they didn't really carry. For that region, they didn't carry no bow and arrows. Jesus asked about a sword. A sword. All right. A sword. And, that, uh... and he, said, he said, look, um, a lot of times I send you out without a purse. Without a wallet, shoes, all right? You don't lack anything, all right? But he said to them, but now whoever ha does have a purse, all right, let him take it, and likewise a wallet, all right? Whoever whoever has none, let him sell his cloak and, and buy, buy a sword. Like, okay, like, 
well, what's going on? Like, you know, before Chanel, hey, if, if you didn't carry a purse before, what was carried in that purse? And I know, yeah, sometimes, like, uh, we think of just only women carrying a purse, but a purse is literally a little, little bag, all right? And they kept what in it? Money. Money. All right, if they need to go buy some bread, you know, some supplies, some fruits or some vegetables, all right? Oh, uh, but when, when all of the time they were rolling with Jesus, think about it, and they were lacking, they're like, oh, Jesus, we don't have any any, any money right now for any, any food to eat. And Jesus is like, don't worry, I got you. Give thanks to the Father. All of a sudden, man, they got a spread in front of them. They got a feast. Okay, but now Jesus is saying, okay, look, um, like we're coming to the end of, uh, of where I'm going to be with you, like physically, not spiritually. All right, praise God. All right, we have Jesus in our hearts. All right, but like we're coming to the end and Jesus is saying, look, I know before you might not have carried a purse, had any money in, in your pockets. All right. Uh, or, or shoes, or any, but but guess what? He asked the question: Did you lack anything? They said, "Yeah, we didn't lack nothing." Do you know how awesome that is? Do you know how awesome that is? Yes, yes, sir. How awesome is it? Super, super awesome. Why is it awesome? Because usually, <coughs> how could they have lasted? Jesus' ministry lasted three years. Yeah. So and you're going around with no money, no shoes, no no wallet, all right? Like, you don't know where you're going to, the next place where you're going to sleep at. And, <coughs> like, but did they lack anything? All right? You know how awesome that is? Like or lack? Lack. They did not <coughs> lack anything. Meaning that they never felt felt that they were without. Uh uh uh. Stop stop playing with that. Stop stop. That they never felt like they were without. They never felt like like they were in need. Okay. It's very very important. Okay. And what it shows is that in the end, all we need is. Thank you, Naomi. All right? So all, all we truly need. Now, now, going into this transitional time, all right? So there's a transitional time from when Jesus soon is about to be captured. All right, Zay, it's okay. Sit down. It's okay. Hey, unless you're going to come sit beside me, you're going to stay over there, you're going to come sit beside me. Then you sit there and you behave. Please. Peace be still. All right? So, so, so guys, this is a transitional, you know, period. And, and, and guess what? Um, like, hey, when Jesus is arrested and he's beaten and he's hanging on the cross, all right? Like, he's not able to be there and, and, and perform those miracles, you know, for them. All right? So, he's like, hey, just prepare yourself. Okay, this is a this is a transition that is about to take place here. But also, also, now we get to the point about the swords. All right, and why about the swords? So, whoever has, whoever has none, let him sell his cloak. All right, and buy a sword. Okay. For I tell you that this, which is written, must still be fulfilled in me. He has counted with transgressors, for that which concerns me has an end. All right? They said, Lord, behold, here are two swords. All right? And he said to them, that is enough. All right? And so now, we're, we're, you know, did he instruct them to go out and, and get... Uh, a whole arsenal, okay, and, and just get a, a whole bunch of weapons. But like, hey, get put on put on everything that you got, all right. Yeah, have at least a sword, 
and a dagger. All right. Uh, Trey, you get your bow and arrow. All right. And, and your slingshot, JW. All right. You get your, what are you going to get? Get, get a rock. Get, get something, okay? No, you just pick up some rocks. Huh? You just be like little, you just be like little David. All right, you just, you just sling, sling them around. All right. Uh, You're gonna be the giant. What? Why is it? Am I gonna slay me? No, You're gonna be uh, the giant. Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah, Goliath. Yeah, y'all are gonna slay me. <laughs> All right, better, better go slay somebody else. You're gonna slay your daddy. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. But Jesus didn't instruct them to go and, and, and like arm themselves, you know, to, to get ready to fight to death. Like, no, he just said, yeah, two swords, that's enough. And he left it at that. All right. Uh, I got to pray for some, you know, some um, wisdom and discernment on, on that area. All right. But Jesus knew that they were about to go into a transitional time. Uh, There's going to be some turbulent times, all right? In between, yes, uh, him being arrested, his trial, him being on the cross, all right? And then all of the believers, okay? And, and between then and the early church in, in Acts, all right? Where, where Jesus is coming back, Jesus is coming back, all right? Like, it's, okay, thank you very much. All right. I, I've got some feedback from at least one person. I, I can't half understand them, okay, but, but I, I've got some, some, some good feedback, all right, one second, okay, so now, open up your Bibles, please, to John chapter 14. We are going to John chapter 14, my children. Gospels in harmony, okay? And as I shared with you yesterday, we're going literally John chapter 14, 15, and 16. So, like, th there's, a, there's a break <coughs> in Matthew, Mark, and Luke, but in John, this is where this is inserted. All right, John chapter 14, 15, uh, 16, and 17. So, we're going to go through like four whole chapters of John. Okay, but also, let me share with you, these are some very, very important chapters, all right? Now, um, you, you kind of see how, how, how John, when, when John is writing, John is more in tune with the spiritual side all right, of the message, okay? Hey, Matthew does a great job documenting everything in order, all right? Documenting the numbers, okay? All right? Matthew was a tax collector, okay? He does a very good job in accounting, right? Yes. Matthew Matthew does a very good job at that, all right? But but you know, but but as far as you know, getting past the numbers and, and really like understanding like some of the the, the spiritual concepts that, that Jesus was trying to portray, all right? Hey, you can find Matthew and, and Mark laughing, okay? Uh, because Mark was, is, is similar uh, to, to Matthew's style a little bit. And Luke, like I said, I, I'm, I get a little bit um, confused with Luke sometimes because as we see, um, instead of going in chronological order, Luke uh, gives a whole bunch of awesome facts and details, all right? But Luke, shh, shh, thank you. But Luke is still all over the place sometimes, all right? He, he, he bounces back and forth. But now John, guess what? Right now, 
we're about to read some awesome, uh, some awesome scriptures where where John really helps to reconcile us back under spirit. Okay, to spirit and in truth. So y'all ready? Yeah. All right. So John chapter fourteen. Yeah. Uh, that starts out where it says Jesus. Uh huh. Jesus comforts his disciples. Okay. So verses one through four. Who will help me out? Trey. Mm -hmm. Are you there? John I'm, chapter fourteen. Yes, I'm there. He, he's there. I, I already like from my heart. One through four. Zach, Zach, Zach. One through four. Yep. Read aloud, please. Do not let your heart be troubled. You believe. You believe in God. Believe in me also. There are many rooms in my father's house. If there's, if this were not true, would I have told you that I am going? That I'm going there. Would I? I have told you that I would prepare a place for you there. If I go and, and do not, that I will come back and I will take you to be with me. Then, then you will also be where I am. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thank you very much. We're going to break this down. All right. So very first, first of all, like Jesus is preparing them. To about to go through some like some some turbulent times. Uh, there, there's about to be a transition. All right, but he says, "Do not let your hearts be troubled." Jesus comforts his disciples. Okay, you believe in God? That's awesome. Believe also in me. All right. So now Jesus is is trying to share with them. All right, you need to be comforted, and, but you also need to know where he's going, okay? All right, my father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there uh, to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. So now guess what? If, if, if a minister or a preacher comes up to you and, and you're hearing a, a message, all right, sit up, Noah, sit up. If you hear a message and, and a pastor or someone tells you this, you know, the, this passage, you're like, oh yeah, thank you. But guess what? Jesus had been with them, as we talked about, for years now, all right? He's been instructing them. He's been their, their teacher, all right? They called him master, master, all right? He has helped to provide for them, all right? And also to provide for them in miraculous ways, okay? And so he, here's the thing. Jesus has already laid a foundation. Leave that alone. Leave that alone. Jesus has already laid a foundation for, for, for them. Like, so guess what? Even if they didn't have any food or anything to eat, and Jesus, he was like, don't worry, all right? Our Father is going to provide for us. We're going to eat an awesome meal. And guess what? God provided, okay? And so, and he provided... Like, for years. Do you understand what I'm saying? <coughs> for years. And so, uh, the same way that I'm talking to you all. Like, he talked to them, all right? Not just in spirit, but he was in flesh form as well. And so, hey, I'm your daddy. And if I tell you that soon, on Noah's birthday, we will go to a place where they have unlimited hibachi buffet, all right? And it's going to be the most tastiest thing you've ever had, all right? And your cup will run it over. And and, like, and guess what? Well, first of all, y'all have been there before, 
All right, so you're like, yeah, man, you you get so excited about it, all right? You know that you're about to eat an awesome, uh, good meal, right? But guess what? They already have a relationship with Jesus. So they've, they've been building this relationship with Jesus for many years, okay? Right? That's why Jesus, so, Jesus said that if it's not so, all right, I, I, I would not have told you so, okay? So my father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go to prepare a place for you, all right, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am, all right? That's pretty awesome, okay? So not only, not only is Jesus telling them about this awesome place, but he's saying, I'm, I'm preparing it just for you, okay? And guess what? Whatever blessings my father has for me, you're going to get a blessing. You're going to get a blessing. You're going to get a blessing. Like, you're going to get a room in that mansion. Like, come on now, all right? Like, we're all going to my father's house, okay? I know, we got a big family, all right? Do you have your own bedroom, J.W.? You got your own room, Naomi? No. <laughs> all right. All right. So, 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 guess what? Hey, in, in heaven, all right, he says, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. So, now, why do they say that again? You, you know the way to the place where I'm going. What, what's the way? Jesus is the way. No, I'm, I'm talking about directions to, to the place. Like, like you got you to gotta enter the navigation. And let, let me see here. Let, let me get about it. No, stop it. My phone Jesus can, my phone can get way. me anywhere that I need to go with my navigation. All no. right? And if I type in, let me see, from, from Earth. If I type in, let me get to heaven. Let me see. Let me, let me see. Mansion <laughs> in heaven. All right. Mansion in heaven. Oh, it says it says two two mansions found. All right. The governor's mansion. In Raleigh, is that the one we're trying to get to? No. Yeah. Yeah. See, I, look, I typed in, see, I typed in mansion in heaven. All right, hold on a second, hold on a second. And then this other mansion that I typed in, it's a men's clothing store in Durham. And it's closed right now. It's only open from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Is that the mansion I'm trying to get to? No. That Jesus told us about? Hold on a second. I tried to tell you. Did you, you be quiet. You know what? I'm going to try to figure this out in my own arrogance and in my own pride and my own worldly wisdom. Because I'm smart, okay? All right? Right, JW? No. Yeah, 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 I'm smart. So, okay. Maybe Siri can help me. All right? Hey, Siri. How do I make it to God's mansion in heaven? Oh, many mansions and have so okay, so Siri directed me back towards scripture. But I want directions. I need directions, Siri. She just showed me uh, how, uh, how I found it on the, on the <coughs> web. Hey Siri. Siri. Hey Siri. Hey Siri. I need directions to God's mansion in heaven. What? Then she directed. Starting route to God's vision. She directed me Proceed to a to local church. Then turn All right. She she directed me to God's vision church right right at the road. All right. My navigation can't help me, guys. <laughs> so, hold on. Oh, I, 
You have is Jesus. That that's the way. Jesus is the way. Mm -hmm. So so I just said follow in Jesus. Follow you and, and trust in Jesus. Yes. All right. But now, but guess what? Yeah, I know Jesus is is, is the way. All right. But but guess what? It is is not just that. It's, it's several several things that he has instructed in his teachings. All right. Commandments that that we should show heat in him. All right. Because he, he is the teacher. He is the good shepherd. He is our, our high priest. All right. So Jesus it is, it is the way. So what, uh, if Jesus it is the way, because he said, you know the way to the place where I, I am going. And, and if Jesus is the way, and it's through Jesus, all right, um, then, then how? By believing what? By believing. You you give me one word answers. I'm gonna I, like I gotta keep peeling back the layers of this onion. Believing what? By believing. What am I believing? By believing. By believing. Give me a second. Give me a second. JW, it's okay. By believing that um, Jesus is the Son of God, and also that he will be will in that time frame, that he will die on the cross for our sins, and also that he's the Savior. But then also in following in him, then we will be able to inherit um, eternal life. Y'all hear me, brother? Yes. All right. So, so, yeah, so it's not, it's not one thing, all right? Like, just like in, in, if you're giving directions to a place, it's not just, oh, just go in a straight line and you'll just be there, all right? Hey, it, it, the, the quickest way to get anywhere is in a straight line. And yeah, if I had a helicopter or, or an airplane, I'd just be able to take off and then just land right there. But guess what? This is a path. This is a journey. There's twists and turns along the way. There's decisions that we're going to have to make, all right? There, there, there's stumbling blocks, okay, and, and things that we're going to have to persevere. There, there are tests that we're, we're going to need to pass, all right? You know one of the major tests? To, to, two of the major tests, all right? Two of the major tests are... Love, all right, to love the Lord our God with all of our heart, all of our mind, all of our strength, everything that we got, all right? And number two, second commandment is like it, very similar, which is? Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Love your neighbor as you love yourselves, all right? And so guess what? I'm looking at Olivia. I love you, Libby. Oh, I love you, Libby. Oh, it's so easy to love Libby, but I'm looking over at Judah. You get away from me. I don't like you. Don't you give me no hugs. I don't want to be your neighbor. All right? Guess what? That That is the test. All right? That's one, one of the tests. To love thy neighbor. All right? Now, now, another big test, another huge test is forgiveness. The same measure of forgiveness that we extend is going to be the same measure of forgiveness that is going to be what? Extended unto us. Extended back unto us. All right? And so guess what? People get offended all day, every day. People offend one another, right? Right? Don't you all offend one another? Even as siblings. So guess what? Even, even strangers, people out here in the world are, are going to offend you. And there's, you know, of course, Jesus, yeah, yeah, he, he would understand for us to uh, forgive our, ourselves as siblings, all right? But people out there in the world, we don't ever forgive them, do we? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. I, I'm going to hold a grudge against them. I don't have to forgive those those people out there, right? Yes, Jesus calls me to forgive them. 
Well, what, what if they do something that I just really don't like and that I, that I don't agree with? He's still going to call me to forgive him? Yes. And love him? Yes. Are you, you serious? Yes. And guess what? That is a trap and a snare that many people fall into. That, that guess what? That leads them astray and not on the right path. All right, not not the right way to where Jesus is going. All right, because where Jesus is going, guess what? Hey, it's an awesome, beautiful spirit spiritual place. All right, where 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 we are going to be in our our, our spirit beings. <laughs> Do you hear me, Noah? Yes, sir. You hear me, Trey? Yes, sir. And, and our spirit beings, and, and and guess what? What did Jesus tell the woman at the well? There's going to come a day where people aren't going to worship on, on this mountain over here, but they're going to worship how? In spirit and truth. In spirit and in truth. All right? So guess what? The place to where Jesus is going, my navigation, no, it's not going to help you. All right? But in spirit, amen, and, 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 and humbling, humbling ourselves, denying our flesh, but and, and, and keeping the word that, that Jesus has instructed uh, uh, unto us, guess what? We going to get there. Okay? We are going to get there. And so now, guess what? Jesus has the same instructions. All right? Listen. Listen. Sit up, Libby. He, he, he has the same instructions, all right, as far as love and, and forgiveness. But guess what? You're going to go through different trials and face different adversities and, and and face different temptations, all right, that may be different from Noah, that may be different from Trey, may be different from you, Naomi, or Isaiah, all right, Kaylin, all right, like, guess what, same instructions, all right, maybe different demons, okay, may, maybe different trials. You understand? All right. But guess what? One thing that remains the same is God's word. Okay? And his word is going to be, be good to cover all of those things. Okay? So, that's awesome right there. And then tomorrow, uh, we're going to start at verse 5. And Thomas asks, so this is the way, Jesus, the way to the Father. Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going. So how can we know the way? All right. Jesus is trying to tell them the way. All right. Guess what? And Jesus is going to tell them the way. I am the way and the truth and the life. All right. No one comes to the Father except through who? Me. Jesus. 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 What are you doing, Olivia? He's being silly. Everybody got to be silly sometimes. All right. So it's an awesome word, Amen. And let's pray, dear Jesus. We we thank you so much uh, for for revealing uh, to your disciples in, in spirit, dear Jesus. We thank you so much for for yeah sharing that yes you, you have prepared a place for us. Uh, that yeah, uh, our, our Father has an awesome, wonderful, beautiful mansion that has many, many rooms. And we thank you, dear Jesus, for being the good shepherd. Yes, not knowing in faith you're going to come back uh, for us, uh, dear, dear Jesus. And, uh, and and yes, we, we cannot wait to be reunited uh, with, with you, dear, dear Jesus. Uh, that, that is our hope. That, that, that is our faith. Uh, that, that is our, our trust. And everything that we have. It, it, it is in you, uh, dear, dear Jesus. Uh, please allow us to have a blessed day. Uh, celebrate a blessed birthday uh, for, for Noah. Please allow us to uh, be diligent to every task at, at hand. And uh, yes, we give you all the honor, the praise, and the glory. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Let the, the church. church.